I'm with Kim Foran today from Geranium Lake. And Kim, a couple weeks ago, we were at your shop and we were kind of talking about sketching. And you were saying that in your younger days, you were an artist. Yeah, I was trained formally as a fine art painter. And um, I'm always trying to figure out how to be more creative and, you know, kind of run my business creatively. And now that I'm on my 24th year, <laughs> I'm thinking of ways to decompress from work and still stay fresh. So what I've been doing is sketching in my own yard. But you know, you have a lot of basic training and a long time training, and, but I really have not. And so you really think that you can teach me to do something. Yeah, I think a lot <laughs> of us uh, live in our heads. And what's cool about drawing is you can get outside of your brain All and right. stop thinking. Okay, so that's a challenge. <laughs> so we are doing some gesture drawing, okay? okay? So we're doing quick sketches of okay. that beautiful hortensia. It's a or beautiful hydrangea, hydrangea. Or you can do the hosta or the corbels. Okay. So the trick is, is I don't want you to look at your paper. Oh. And in art school, uh -huh. we actually put our hands underneath here. Okay, well, I'll try and, that. And um, we did not, we only looked at what at we're drawing and not the paper because what yeah. happens when you look at your paper, your brain says, draw a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> and your brain has these symbols in it and it doesn't really see what it's right. drawing. Okay. So if you want me to start, okay, here, we'll I'll start show for, you. Okay. So I'm gonna draw the hosta too. Okay. And I am kind of picking apart um, uh, of the leaf and I am just gonna follow it down. Okay, it's kind of looking like a leaf. Yeah, it's it's not exactly gonna look like what you think it's gonna look. Oh, yeah, right. so you wanna start? Okay, I will do it and then, oh, got two pieces. Okay, where okay. are you going, hosta? I'm gonna do the hosta. Okay, so awesome. I'm gonna start with that leaf. So we should all close our eyes maybe because you wanna keep looking. All right. All right, well, yeah, it doesn't look like yours, but everybody's is going to be different, and I can see that you don't want to make it perfect, so. No, it's not about illustration. It's oh. more of an activity to rest your mind and have fun and draw and create something interesting from the garden, and that's not plant material. Ah. Well, let's go over to your other station there, because we're going to try to work with a little color. Yeah. Let's go over there. So Kim, it's not just about like black and white, you could add color. So what kind of um, material is this? So I have some French pastels and um, we're gonna uh, draw this beautiful foxglove. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of smudge it just like what we did with the okay. Conti. But we're gonna do this collaboration. Oh. So uh, I'm gonna have you start by kind okay. of laying in that beautiful foxglove form okay. and just be careful not to look at the paper. <laughs> and pretend you're drinking a glass of wine. I think that would help. I think that's what my problem is here. You have no problems, you're perfect. <laughs> All right, before I keep going too much, I think minimalist is better. Oh, oh. you're doing good, oh, well. you're doing good. Okay, All so right. now I'm gonna have a try. Okay. I think we'll, uh, I think a you bit. did really awesome on the shape and I'm just gonna I'm do a little, a little bit more bit. of a gesture because yeah. there's a lot of texture, so that really adds like yeah. texture to it. Yeah, and you know, this is a little bit more intuitive and um, messy and <laughs> not very realistic. Okay, so. And then you're just gonna kind of smudge it a smudge little bit. Smudge it a little yeah. bit. So now we're gonna put a little gesture of the bells. Okay. And we can start kind of by just kind of, I'm doing the color on the outside. Right, because they're two-toned. Yeah, many different so go shades. ahead and start. All right, uh, okay. It's kind of like the Impressionist painters. Exactly. If you want to put a name to it. So a lot of that dark pink is on this top, and the light you can see is. Mm -hmm. and then oh, it's looking cute. It is. But you can do big sweeping gestures of green because you and you really press hard and really good oh. into it. Oh, I see, yeah, okay. We can kind of give it a little bit more of an edge. All right, well, Kim, I, I know that I think um, we should all do this in our gardens because we get stressed out. We never sit in our gardens. We don't enjoy them. All we do is pull weeds. So I think this is a great activity to do. I think a glass of wine would help. Um, just kind of loosen you up for this kind of technique. And I think practice, practice, and enjoy your, and your time in the garden in a different way, and not just weeding, but enjoying your garden. Thanks you did so much. great. Oh, you're sweet. Thanks. <laughs>